Hello friends. So this announcement is for my Steintober I'm doing for October. Um, I did make a bingo board. I'll pop it up right here on the screen. And if you want my bingo board, just find me on Instagram. My handle is Jamie underscore Jamie reads underscore one. And I will DM you the um, bingo board if you would like it. Um, so a couple of rules because I know people are going to ask. I know people are going to ask about the rules. So it's the whole month of October. Um, if you read just one Stein book, then you're good. You don't have to read Stein throughout the whole October. Um, if you look at the bingo board, I will go through the bingo board. There are spot, a lot of spots on here that do not correlate with any Stein book. Um, so if you just read one Stein book, you're good. You did it. You participated in Steintober. Good for you. Hey, I, I love that you participated. And I just want to see how many people are going to participate this year. Um, have fun with it. It's nothing too stressful. Don't be stressed out about any of it. It's just a fun little thing that I wanted to do because I want to catch up on reading more Stein books. Um, if you do decide to do it, tag me on YouTube or tag me on Instagram. And as I said before, my Instagram is Jamie reads underscore one. I will have it linked down in the description below. And just have fun reading, y'all. That's all this is. It's just stuff, just something to do during October to have fun reading. All right, the first square is read the first Read the first Goosebumps book. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. It's my son. Uh, read the first Goosebumps book is the first one. Uh, if you didn't know, the first Goosebumps book is Welcome to Dead House. And that's what this haunted house is on this cover right here. Uh, the second prompt is read a book with read a book with green on the cover. Typically, there's a lot of books with green on the cover, and the majority of the Goosebumps books have green on the cover. Um, the next book, the next square is read a book with witches. Any book with rich witches. Um, no one's policing this readathon. I'm not gonna tell you, oh, you can't read this because you have to read this. It's just. A fun little thing I wanted to do. Um, the next square is read a book with fall colors. Anything you think that is a fall color that is on your book, it counts. Read uh, on the second one is read a book with a knife on the cover. Um, for example, if you're wanting to read a Stein book with a knife on a cover, he literally has one called The Knife. And there's a knife right there on the cover. Um, read a Fear Street book. This is a Fear Street book. I have another Fear Street here. Thrill Club. There's uh, right down here some Fear Street. You can read the Fear Street bind-ups if you want. There's a lot of his Fear Streets that are bind up with two books inside of him. This white one that's right here. This has the first four Fear Street books inside of this. Um, so just read any Fear Street. Um, the sec, the spot after Fear Street is a free spot. Uh, it's just a free spot. Uh, the next one is read a book with, uh, read a werewolf book. Any book that has a werewolf inside of it, even if it mentions a werewolf, a little blip, if it has a little blip of a werewolf, it counts. <laughs> Read a book with pumpkins. It can be pumpkins on the cover. It can be um, a book in a pumpkin patch. It could be a book where they're on Halloween and they mention pumpkins. A book with pumpkins. Um, the next one is read a book with coffee or tea. I know a lot of people don't drink coffee, so they'll, they prefer tea. If you drink neither coffee or tea, then just read a book with a glass of water. Okay, the next one is read a book with a ghost on the cover. Any book with a ghost on a cover. If you're looking for a Stein book with a ghost on a cover, um, I will show you 
and my Art of Goosebumps, which cover has uh, a ghost. Um, right here, the Barking Ghost. This dog is considered a ghost. The Barking Ghost. It's um, Let's see. There is... Not a ghost. Da, 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 da. That's my favorite cover. This one right here, the ghost next door. That's a ghost. You find a ghost on the cover, read the book. It it's considered a ghost on the cover. Okay, the next one after that is read a book set in a graveyard. There's a lot of books set in the graveyard. Um, a lot of them, like I know of, are middle grade like for this one there's when ghouls attack that's a great a book set in graveyard um ghost beach there it's not set in a graveyard but there is a graveyard inside of it so it technically has a setting of a graveyard um there is the middle grade the bone garden that could work for that too um the next one is go outside and read you don't have to finish the whole book outside i'm not saying read a whole book outside I'm saying go outside. If you read a page, you, you you can mark off this prompt. If you read half of a paragraph or a paragraph and you're outside, you can mark off this prompt. Um, like I said, I'm not policing it. You can just do it. The next one after that is read a, read a book with a dummy. As you know, Slappy is Goosebumps' mascot. You can read any of the Night of the Living Dummy books, or you can read any of the new Slappy World books because he is inside of those books. Or, if you don't want to read Stein, read Grady Hendrix's new book. Um, that one has, uh, as far as I know, or puppets, dummies inside of it. Um, the next one in after that is a book set in school. Typically, most of Stein's Fear Street books are set in a high school setting. Some of the goosebumps, some of the goosebumps are set in middle grade schools. So just or find a a book that you want to read that's set in a school. And then the very last prompt is read a book on Halloween. You don't have to read the whole book. Again, same rule as going outside. You don't have to read the whole book on Halloween. You can read a chapter. You can read half of a page, a paragraph. Just read a book on Halloween. Have fun with it. Read a spooky book. If you have kids, read a Halloween book to your kids. But this is my announcement. This is my announcement for my Steintober. It's all month of it's all month of October. Um, like I said, I'm not going to po be policing it. The majority of my books that I'm going to be reading are going to be Stein because I want to get more into more Stein books. I have read a lot of his work, but I just want to read more of his work because he is one of my favorite authors. He is one of my favorite authors. So I want to read it and I just decided to do this. So this is my announcement. Let me know if you're going to participate inside of um, Steintober, what you think of it, and have fun and enjoy the spooky season. I will see you in an, my next video. Remember to be kind to each other. Always be safe out there and always go on your next book adventure. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.